Hey everybody, Paul Cameron here with Speed Up My Search and let's talk about LinkedIn profile analysis. If you're going to be going in for an interview or if you're going to meet up with someone in your professional network, you're going to want to look at their LinkedIn profile first. And from what I'm seeing as a senior IT recruiter and a job search coach for senior IT executives across the country, there is a large number of people out there who do not have much of a plan when it comes to analyzing someone's profile. Right, and the people who do have a plan, they know what they're looking for. They're just looking for the basics, you know, like how long did the person work in this position or work at that company and uh, maybe going through some career progressions for that person. And, you know, what kind of degrees do they have? Did we go to the same schools? Uh, you know, those sorts of just basic information that I would think anyone would know to look at and, and maybe not. I certainly don't mean to, to insult people who don't know that, but um, it's basic information that you should be looking for. But there's so much more that you can be getting from a LinkedIn profile. There's so much available to you there that can have a direct impact on the speed at which you develop rapport with that person, right? You can learn what the most likely values and traits are that this person deems to be important. You can learn what their most likely communication styles are. You can, you can learn how to directly impact the the rapport building and, and, and that likability factor that you create with this person in that meeting. You know, you remember these these hiring managers, if you're doing this for job search, you know, on a lot of occasions, lots of studies about this, a large percentage of them, up to 49% in one study, said that they make their hiring decisions based on gut instinct, right? Meaning they, they're gonna hire the person that they like the best, not necessarily the most qualified person. But if you know what to look for on a LinkedIn profile and how to interpret that information, you're going to be able to impact that likability factor you create with them based on your research that you're doing and looking through these profiles. And I'll tell you now with ChatGPT, your time spent in analysis is almost nothing. You, you don't need to spend much time there because it's you can put a prompt together that will help ChatGPT to very accurately analyze, gather that information and analyze it accurately so that you can use that time to strategically think through how you're going to use that information, right? Rather than spending all that time trying to figure out what information to look for, right? And in this video, I'm going to show you specifically what those prompts are. They're fairly involved, but I'm going to walk you through them. You're welcome to use them and have them. It's going to help you save a ton of time. And speaking of saving a ton of time, if you're brand new to ChatGPT, you're not really familiar with prompt engineering at all or how to structure a prompt to get the most from it, or if we're going through this and you're wondering how I'm doing some of the things or why there's some elements in these prompts um, that maybe don't make sense to you, I created a crash course for ChatGPT. This is completely free. It's on this channel if you want to go search for it, or if you go to the link that's on the screen now, it's speedupmysearch.com slash uh, GPT, not chat GPT, save, save you a second there. So just speedupmysearch.com slash GPT. There's a video that will show you how to do all that stuff. And that's going to save all of us a bunch of time. So I don't have to re-say it again. And if you already know it, you don't have to re-hear it all over again. It's going to save us all a lot of time, time in which we can use to get to work, which we're going to do right now. So we're going to dive right in. So I'm on ChatGPT right now. I'm using the 4.0 version. There are ways that you can use this on the free version if you'd like. I'm going to demonstrate it here in the in the uh, 4.0 version. The first part of this, I'm going to put in the role and the expertise, like I talk about in my crash course. Act as an experienced career coach with expertise in LinkedIn profile analysis and analyze the attached profile for the following. Now I'm going to use uh, a profile we're probably all familiar with, Jeff, the CEO of LinkedIn, since we're doing LinkedIn profile analysis, uh, as our subject of this um, profile analysis video. Okay, so that's his profile there. Now we're going to keep going. So these are just the basics here. This is stuff that I'm sure all of you are doing when you look at a profile. So for example, you know, how long have they worked in their current job and how long at the current company? How many jobs have they held at their current company and what were they? List them in order with the time spent in each. So we've got the durations at each one of these positions that they've held. 
Uh, I do use an example here under this next one, how long have they worked in this type of position that they currently work in. As I explained in the crash course video, when you use examples, that's going to help get more accurate answers out of ChatGPT. Uh, do they have any certifications or advanced degrees and how are they relevant to this job? Sometimes you'll see someone has a degree you don't quite understand, you know, why does the CIO of the company have a CISSP? And then last but not least, in terms of basics, you know, briefly summarize the three most noteworthy career accomplishments. And that's stuff that, again, I hope everybody is doing when you're looking at a LinkedIn profile. So let's dive a little bit deeper here. So now let's list at least two aspects of their career progression compared to others who have that same title. Okay, so now we're looking for things that are a little bit more unique. If they're the CIO of the organization, but prior to this, they were in a totally different industry or they were maybe an analyst for some other organization or something unique about them and how they got to where they are. This is going to help you to ask very important questions during this interview, very pertinent questions. These are questions that convey a message to that hiring manager, to this person in your network that says, you know, not just, hey, I read your profile. They say, I read your profile and I thought about it. And this was interesting to me, right? That's a whole different message and a whole different perception of you that you're giving them based on that question, right? So this is really important that you add that piece of it in here. Then you wanna add in, do we have any commonalities, anything in common? You know, like, did we go to the same school, the same college? Did we work at any of the same places? Do we have some of the same interests? Those sorts of things. Again, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again here, I apologize. But uh, if you're wondering how it knows what my schooling is and what my companies I work for and what my interests are, Go watch that crash course video and I will show you how this knows what my interests are so that it can compare it to their interests. I explain that uh, in more detail in the crash course video. And then lastly, when someone's going to add some more personal information to their background, like on a resume, you don't add a ton of personal information in there. At least I hope you don't. Uh, on your LinkedIn profile, you can start getting more personal. And you do that in the certain sections on your profile, specifically like your summary or the about section, um, the volunteer experience that you've had where you're volunteering time out of your life and your family's life to go and, and give to a good cause. There's a section in there for humanitarian causes. This is where we get to know you as a person a little bit, and it helps under us understand what's important to you. So. This last piece here, you know, analyze their summary section and any volunteer experiences, interests and in humanitarian causes to help me deduce the personal values and traits they're likely to appreciate in others, such as teamwork, integrity, punctuality. And I'm, I'm further giving it context here to give me the exact information that I need. So I'm telling it, you know, I'm, I'm looking for evidence on this profile that point to specific values and traits similar to but not limited to the three examples that i listed for you here specifically for um, so you know what i'm referring to teamwork integrity and punctuality similar traits to that okay and then we do need to give it some parameters on how we want this to be output please provide the information in a plain text table format ensuring there's no html taglines breaks so on and so forth let's submit this Okay, and you'll see that it gave us a nice table here. Uh, it's given us the information that we're looking for, but now we're gonna expand on this and really dive deep into the profile. If you just want a quick profile of this person, quick analysis, this is all you need. You can copy and paste this over into a Word document. Okay, well, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this profile. So I'm gonna add on there, it's great. Thank you, please expand create an expanded linkedin profile analysis table and i know there's some prompt engineers out there they're going to say why are you saying thank you and please it's a machine just personal preferences there i believe that if i just say it to absolutely everyone and everything i don't have to remember or, or worry about forgetting it's just please and thank you that's that's the way we should communicate i think 
But moving on, uh, let's analyze the another document from this person's profile, and it's going to contain the header information, which is the followers and connections, the mutual connections, written recommendations that are received and given. Because you will notice that on the downloaded PDF version that we got from his profile, it doesn't include any of that information in here. So we need to go back and get that separately. And it's going to be a little bit more manual of a process to get this. I got to copy it, the header information here. I'm going to copy it or click Control C and put that over into a Word document. I use the uh, the window and the, the copy the formatting uh, of the destination paste so that it doesn't include all those links. And then I'm going to go back to his profile and go to the recommendations and I'm going to copy all of his received recommendations as well as his given recommendations. And I'm going to manually scroll down and copy them after I pasted those over. Same thing with given. Save in a couple of seconds so you don't have to watch me do all that. And I've pasted the document here. So now I'm going to keep going here. I accidentally hit enter here, so I'm editing this just uh, briefly, but to go back and edit the, the prompt because it wasn't finished. So the second part of this prompt is that we're going to add to the table total number of connections and followers, uh, number of mutual connections that we have to the table, analyze the recommendations not individually, but as a whole to gain further insights into the values and traits of this person uh, and what they consider to be important based on what others say about this person and what this person appreciates about others. All right, that's starting to give us some real insight into how this person thinks and then state uh, how long it's been since this person received their three most recent recommendations. I do that because, you know, the last time they got recommended was in, you know, 2005 or you know or 2010 that tells me one thing versus if they just got a recommendation last week <clears throat> as a side note if you're analyzing recruiter profiles always take a look at, at how long ago they were and when they got those you're paying attention to if they got all those recommendations in the same month that means they had a competition that month to see who could get the most number of recommendations a lot of recruiting offices recruiting firms will do that and then also pay attention if they got them all from their co-workers internally there which means they all turned to each other and said hey guys let's recommend each other on linkedin so that we look like we're better at this than we are okay so you want to be careful of those two things but now we're going to finish this prompt with a rewrite this entire table with the new information and insights uh, place followers connections mutual connections uh, of this person at the top and then gives the parameters for the formatting here as well Okay, and now we've got all this information. This is easily um, a one-page document. You can copy and paste this over into a, a Word document. And as you look through this, now you know, you know, what this person's, you know, noteworthy accomplishments are. You know that you've got four mutual connections. You know, you've got, you know, this person's got 10,000 or 10 million followers. Uh, obviously, it's Jeff, the CEO of, of LinkedIn. These really should have appeared. Uh, inside the table. I'm not sure why they didn't this time, but still easy enough to just copy and paste all this information over into a Word document. Uh, the mutual connections, that's important because then you can network in uh, more easily and, and connect with this person. Hey, I know you're connected to so-and-so and I've got multiple scripts and videos on that uh, inside my, my phase three of my program. Uh, so I'm not going to dive too uh, in depth into that here, but I really take advantage of those mutual connections. And the analysis here though their recommendations of what they're praised for and what they praise others for that gives you some great insights into this person and it's going to make your meeting with him you know or her depending on who you're researching uh, and so much more meaningful and valuable and you can develop that rapport so much faster so i hope this was helpful for you to see if any of this went over your head in terms of the the prompting elements go check out that crash course uh, if you want further help, you know, check out any of my programs in at speedupmysearch.com. I cover all phases of the search process from putting together an effective resume to your LinkedIn profile to the search process itself, which is where this information would be. I also have a ChatGPT mastery course. I've got an interviewing course, a professional networking course, 
just lots and lots of information. If you are an IT executive or an IT leader, you're looking for coaching, check out my availability. I have the link to that on the screen here as well. And I've got, if I've got room, I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. And to summarize this whole video here, when you use ChatGPT to do the analysis and you know the analysis you're looking for, it's gonna save you so, so much time. Again, time that you can use to get back to work. So that's it for me here. It's time to get to work.